Telltale have done a great job in creating a very funny and clever game with Tales from the Borderlands. It pays homage to the source material and sets a standard for comedy games. It's a game that follows not one but two main characters who are forced to become allies in order to find a vault and its hidden treasures. The strength in this game lies with its over the top but hilarious characters. We are first introduced to Reese, oh, no. who is a middle manager in the Heartless Hyperion Corporation. His initial goals are nothing more but to climb the corporate ladder and earn more money. Fiona, the second main character of the game, could not be any more different than Reese. Oh, shut up! Stop it, stop it! You're getting dirt in my eye! It sucks because I'm trying to get it in your lying mouth! She has spent her entire life in the barren bandit wasteland that is Pandora. Growing up as a con artist, she is always looking for a next big score. And basically gets herself out of any situation with her clever words and being able to manipulate people. Both main characters are supported by hilarious side characters. Reese has his best friend Vaughn. Oh, bro, thanks, bro. No problem, bro, bro. Thanks, bro. Hey, we're bros, bro. An accountant who is hoping to ride alongside him as he moves up the ranks of Hyperion. And Fiona has Sasha, her partner in crime who she grew up with on Pondera. Ah! We should just shoot them first. Save the bullet. The fall will definitely kill them. Wait! You don't want to do this! He's just stalling. This is a waste of time. Okay, okay, you convince me. We split the money 60-40. Wrong answer! Whoa. Accompanying the core characters are a wide array of bit part players who all feel unique with their own personalities and goals. Each one of them feel like they are there for a purpose and not just as a prop to help move the story along for the main characters. This really helps you to grow to care for these characters and also for the story. Another strength of the game is that there is a lot of character development throughout the story. Reese goes from being someone who is frightened of confrontation and someone who is all about career progression to being someone who truly cared for his comrades. How are my two favorite robots? You guys having a good time together? Huh? Exchanging oil recipes or whatever you talk about? Fiona grows from someone who is just a corn to becoming a true vault hunter. And again, it's someone who grows to care about her comrades. Characters was not limited to just the main characters, but also the side characters. Vaughn begins the journey as a simple accountant, but becomes someone who actually loves adventure, and actually got quite an adrenaline rush out of some of the dangerous situations they get into. Spirit, buddy. It's just, I know it's weird to say, but I'm having a great time. Vaughn, I feel the same way. This, this is what I'm talking about. Mixing it up with Hyperion, teaming up with grifters. Come on, these are the types of stories we'll tell our children when we're millionaires. We just survived moonshots from Hyperion, huh? Friggin' moonshots, man! But having this development for each of the characters and not just the main characters makes, it, makes them really feel real and genuine and again makes you care for the story and what happens to these characters. Humor and story writing for the Borderlands. So many scenes put a smile on my face. I have lost everything. My wife. My son. My cat. I did not lose them in that order, though. I, I lost my wife first, then my cat, then my son. So, wife, cat, son. You ever thought of becoming a professional storyteller? Because I gotta tell you, your sense for crucial information is just... Reese. Jokes that made fun of other popular franchises. It is. Come with me if you want to leave. And 
those that broke the fourth wall and made fun out of gaming in general. What the hell is that? Even some of the battle scenes are really funny. Sorry, just ate a burrito. Never mess with accountants, Vasquez. You can always count on us outnumbering you. Smoke them! I'm not gonna lie, that was impressive. However, the writing was not limited to jokes. There are some truly heart-wrenching moments. Please, I'm letting go. There's no way you're getting up that with me hanging on you. No! No, Sasha! I won't let you go! You have to trust me! I'll get us out of this! It's okay, Sasha! Please. Sasha! No! Wow, we are really close to the ground, aren't we? Yeah, that bit got me too. It just shows how much I cared about these characters. After all, Sasha is not even a playable one. I really enjoyed the way the story was told. Most of the story is told as a backflash from the point of view of either Reese or Fiona. This again leads to some amusing exchanges between them, as they question the integrity of each other's retelling of what actually happened. Oh yeah, that happened. Uh, it's my story. Shut up. The great characters include multiple villains that are interesting in both personality and design. There is Vasquez, the corporate man, and Reese's main rival in the Hyperion. Mona, Sasha, even Vaughn, this isn't their fault. This all comes back to you and me. I stole the money. I stole your deal. Everything that's happened up till this point is about me trying to screw you. So let's just, you and me, work it out. Work it out! Work it out! I'll work you over, you little asshole! And fierce bandits that they encounter in Pandora. Tales from the Borderlands also has a really cool soundtrack, which are particularly highlighted in the introduction scenes for each of the episodes. The game, however, does unfortunately suffer from some technical problems. I suffered frame rate issues throughout my playthrough and even encountered some major bugs. This is frustrating, however, the positives do outweigh the negatives, and I don't think it ruined my experience overall, but it certainly is an issue that is becoming synonymous with Telltale games. Overall, I enjoyed playing Tales from the Borderlands. I actually think it may be the best game Telltale have made. It's a game built on the foundations of its excellent characters and writing. I think it's the gold standard for comedy gaming genre. However, it does suffer from frame rate issues and I did encounter some bugs. As a result, I give this game an 8 out of 10, meaning it is one of the best game of its genre. Please, like and subscribe. Thank you very much for listening.